and so to the final race of the day on the Wednesday, the Weatherby's champion bumper. And the drama started as the tapes went up. The heroine of yesterday, Nina Carberry, wanted to go forward, but the unbeaten Karanja had other ideas, and the result, the jockey out of the side door. But that wasn't the only faller in this, the meeting's only flat race. Uh, one has gone out the back, but uh, running down the hill. One has slipped up on the flat. Can't see it at the moment. Meanwhile, back with the leaders. It's Clue Bay Co. from Eye on the Ball. Then behind these Beautiful Vision. Behind Beautiful Vision, DeSoto coming there. Missed that with Rash Arrow improving and an orange cap on the far side. Refinement now making headway under Kieran Fallon. As they run down the hill, there is no doubt right off the course. High Tech may try to improve with Wee Robbie, but running towards the final turn, and it's still Clue. Bay Cove, eye on the ball right alongside though, De Soto in behind them, then missed that, now getting very competitive in the red and white, and Rash Arrow wider, they're chased by refinement as they straighten up Mahona, missed that, the favourite now strides with some purpose to challenge Clue Bay Cove, they're tracked out wide by Rash Arrow, De Soto behind the is an eye on the ball, and then refinement up the hill, and it's missed that for the Willie Mullins team again, Rash Arrow, De Soto snapping at the leader's heels, then Clue Bay Cove, missed that, is chased all the way on both sides by De Soto and Rash Arrow, missed that is flat to the board here, the Irish Chief cheering the leader on, and miss that will land the money from in second De Soto, followed in third by Rash Arrow, next was refinement. The Mick Weston was the one that slipped up on the far side. So miss that in the Florida Pearl Colours of Violet O'Leary giving trainer Willie Mullins his fifth win in the race and landing a massive gamble. Miss that returned seven to two favourite. Second to Soto, 20 to 1. Third, Rashero at 9 to 1. And Kieran Fallon, incidentally, on his first ever ride at the festival, finished fourth on refinement. Well, some big bets landed there.